Ibadan under we let us um, take this report on the governor of um, Ogun State, Dr. Abiodun, focusing on the issue of insecurity in Ogun State. I will come join Ibadan in a minute. Uh, do join us again. Disturbed by the invasion of armed bandits in parts of southwest state, Ogun State Governor Dr. Abiodun has declared that his administration will not allow or tolerate any form of banditry, cultism, and hooliganism in the state. Abiodo made this known at a meeting with the All Progressives Congress past and present party leaders as well as party faithful in the state. He said a state that is violence-free, a world boost economic development, and a such organ state will not be a safe haven for miscreants. The governor further said he has made up his mind not to say anything again about the last administration of Senator Ibe Kulam Musum. He noted that he is more concerned about how his administration will be better than the previous ones. We will not tolerate any form of banditry, cultism, hooliganism in this state. We will be given a period of amnesty very soon. The CP will announce it to everyone to come and lead down their arms. Following that period, if we catch anybody in this state, we will make an example of it. Our state, the state of Abouba Femewolo, the state of the Vice President, the state of so, the state of MQ, the state of so many leaders, will not be characterized by the violence of a few. We will not allow a few people to jeopardize our future. I am determined to turn this state into the economic capital of this country. And we will not allow, we will not allow some experience the Nigerian Army Warrant Officers and Senior Non-Commissioned Officers Competition is an annual event designed to improve leadership skills, endurance, and esprit de corps among officers with a view to preparing them to take up more challenges and responsibilities. Speaking at the opening of the training, the Grand Officer Commanding 2 Division Nigerian Army, Odubo Ibadan, Major General Ukudele Azenta, disclosed that the event was timely following the state of the nation. He maintained that aside from the fact that the situation has exposed gaps in operation of the Nigerian Army, the training will prepare officers for the task ahead. Government security situation in the Tarazan has exposed gaps in our operations, underscoring the need for more regular training at all levels to address these gaps. As the critical link between the officers' corps and the civilian and the soldiers, the world's training is one of officers and civilian officers. General Azenta, who stressed that training plays a critical role in the growth and development of any organization, added that the competition was organized to refresh the skills and capability of officers. The training is expected to end on Friday. From Ibadan, Kule Ujo, Galaxy TV.
Disturbed by the invasion of armed bandits in parts of Southwest State, Ogun State Governor Dagwa Biodo has declared that his administration will not allow or tolerate any form of banditry, cultism, and hooliganism in the state. Abiodo made this known at a meeting with the All Progressives Congress past and present party leaders as well as party faithful in the state. He said a state that is violence-free will boost economic development and as such Ogun State will not be a safe haven for miscreants. The governor further said he has made up his mind not to say anything again about the last administration of Senator Ibe Kulam Musun. He noted that he is more concerned about how his administration will be better than the previous ones. I will not tolerate any form of banditry, cultism, hooliganism in this state. We will begin with the period of amnesty very soon. The CP will announce it to everyone to come and lead down their arms. Following that period, if we catch anybody in this state, we will make an example of it. Our state, the state of Abouba Femeolo, the state of the Vice President, the state of so, the state of MKO, the state of so many leaders, will not be characterized by the violence of a few. We will not allow a few people to jeopardize our future. I am determined to turn this state into the economic capital of this country. And we will not allow, we will not allow some experience under any guys to stop us from achieving that.